Assalamu alaikum everyone, Abzal Barcha is here and today in this video I am going to discuss the sorting techniques in data structure. Sorting techniques uh, 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 means that uh, actually arranging data in a particular format uh, in data structures. And when we talk about the sorting techniques, then this the, the sorting techniques may be ca uh, categorized into uh, three parts. The first one is the in-place sorting and uh, the first one is the in-place sorting and the second one is the <coughs> non-in-place sorting. So in-place sorting and non-in-place sorting actually means that if the data is sorted in the uh, arrays location, for example, arrays has a 10 uh, locations and the sorting algorithm also requires 10 locations to set the algorithm, then this will be the in-place sorting algorithm. And the algorithm which required more spaces than the uh, total elements then this is called a not in place sorting algorithm for example array has a 10 elements and uh, the uh, algorithm required more than 10 elements usually the algorithm requires double arrays to sort uh, any particular arrays so such type of array is called a non not in place sorting algorithm the second one is the stable and not stable algorithm for example actually discuss the behavior of the sorting algorithm for example, the, there is an array of 10 elements, okay, and uh, <coughs> they have two elements which are equal. For example, this is 3 and this is 3. And after sorting, if this these elements are in their location, for example, this remain on 1 and this remain on 2nd, then this will be called a stable uh, sorting algorithm. But if this 3 become here and... Uh, if this one become here it mean uh, i means that the location of the same elements changes then this is called a non stable algorithm the next one is about the adaptivity adaptive and non uh, non adaptive <coughs> sorting algorithm discuss that if uh, there is a some array and there are uh, for, for example five elements which are already sorted so the algorithm definitely these will be sorted algorithm will use their techniques to solve the algorithm if these algorithms which are already sorted if algorithm not waste its time to sort the sorted algorithm then this is called adaptive algorithm but if the algorithm sort these algorithm again then this will be called a non adaptive algorithms <coughs> There are different type of the sorting techniques such as the bubble sort, uh, insertion sort, selection sort, merge sort, uh, shell sort and quick sort and in, we will discuss all these sorting algorithms in this video. So the first one is the bubble sort. Uh, bubble sort is actually a comparison based algorithm in which the elements are compared with each other and the total time taken by this algorithm is big O and 2 for example this is the uh, uh, any array and we, we, we are going to sort the algorithm then this will be compared with this one after that this will be compared with this one so actually this is a uh, the bubble sort is a comparison based sorting algorithm let's check how it will work This is the array which we are going to sort using the bubble sort. So in the first, uh, the 14 and 13 will be compared with each other. Okay, 14 and 13 will be compared with each other. And uh, after comparing 14 and 13, because the 14 is less than 13. So this will not swap with that. After that, 33 and 27 uh, will be compared with each other. And here you can see that 27 is actually lower than 33 so uh, these will be swapped the 33 will be swapped with 27 and you can see that these are swapped with each other okay and after that the 33 will, will be compared with 35 and you can see that 35 is actually lower than 35 so these will not be swapped and now in next phase the 35 will be compared with 10 and uh, comparing 35 with 10 uh, we can see that 35 is greater 
greater than that so these will be swapped with each other and after that we can see that the first largest element the most largest element the maximum element is reached up to the 35 so uh, uh, if you, we can see that the next uh, maximum element is 33 the largest element is 3 so the next this this is the actually the first iteration now the next first uh, the second iteration will take 33 and will place it uh, onto the 10 and after that the second the third largest element is 27 and the third iteration will take the 27 and it will be placed on the uh, third location as you can see that the second iteration take the 33 and its proper locations and the third iteration take 27 to place it in on the right location and after that 14 is placed and after that the 10 is placed insertion sort uh, it is also a in place sorting algorithm and uh, uh, sub sorted list array is maintained in which the uh, sorted array is placed and uh, the time complexity is big o and square okay this is the pictorial representation uh, for example if we are going to sort this algorithm then 14 will be compared with 33 after that 33 will be compared to 27 and if 14 is lower then 14 is placed in the sorted array after 33 will, is it compared with 27 27 will be placed and so on let's check how uh, it works for example this is a array and first 14 and 33 is compared with each other and we can see that 14 is lower than 33 so we place the 14 this color says that we are placing 40 in the sorted array and after that 23 is compared to the with 27 and uh, <coughs> 27 is lower than 23 so uh, they are swapped with each other and 27 is placed in the sorted array this shows that these are in sorted format now 23 is compared with 10 and after compare we can see that actually 10 is lower than the 33 so they will be swapped with each other and 10 will be put in uh, into the sorted array and as we put the 10 into the sorted array we can see that now this is not in the sorted array so now first the sorted array will be sorted to sort this array this portion of the sorted array 10 and 27 will be compared and we can see 10 is lower so it will be placed uh, switch with each other after that 10 and 14 is compared with each other and uh, 10 is lower than 14 so 10 is placed on the first location so you can see that this is actually comparison based sorting algorithm and now 33 and 35 will be compared with each other in the next and uh, then 35 and 19 and 19 is lower because lower so it will be uh, placed here and it will be sent to the sorted algorithm the next one is the selection algorithm actually it used the divide uh, and concave algorithm it divide the uh, uh, array into two parts and uh, at the time it is a in place comparison algorithm and the time taken by this uh, array is big o and square let's check this this is the array which we are going to sort and uh, we take the first element and uh, uh, this the first element which is the 14 actually will be replaced with the lowest element of the array and the lowest element of the array is 10 so 10 will be replaced with 10 as you can see that 10 is the replaced next the element is 33 and 33 will be switched with the lowest element in the array in the next area and you can see that 14 is the lowest element and so this will be switched now the next turn is of 27 and uh, 27 will be uh, swapped with the lowest element and uh, this is a 19 and this will be swapped with 19 and you can see that this array is insorted and we are 
sorted it in, in place we are using the same array now the 33 will be used and it will be swapped with the lower element which is 27 and it is replaced and now 35 it will be replaced with the 33 and then uh, after that 35 which will be placed with the 42 yes and after that the array will be sorted the next one is the merge sort which usually actually use the divide and conquer techniques and uh, the time complexity taken by the merge sort is big o and log n in this the array is taken for example this is the array uh, which we are going to sort and this is divided okay here this is divided this is the left portion this is the right portion now the first array is separately divided and now the right array is separately divided now the same will be divided we have to divide the array up until we reach to the single element and 14 and 13 will be divided 27 and 10 will be divided 35 and 19 and 42 and 44 this is the this was the division operation divided operation now the merging operation will start and uh, during the merging operation the elements which are going to be merged will be sorted for example 44 and 33 which are going to merge uh, but uh, they are already in sorted order so 14 and 33 now the 27 and 10 will be sorted uh, here these are 27 and 10 but now in the merging this will be 10 and 27 these are actually sorted now this will be 19 and 35 and this will be 42 and 44 so now these two arrays will be sorted and uh, merge with each other and after merging this will be like that 10 14 27 and 33 as you can see and now this portion will be merged with each other uh, with sorting and after sorting this will be 19 uh, 35 42 and 44 okay and after that the whole array is merged okay and uh, this takes the lower time comparative to the linear sorting after that is the quick sorting algorithm it uh, actually uh, use a uh, divide and conquer algorithm but the difference between the merge sort and the quick sort that we use a pivot randomly we can take the random as a 54 we can take it from the middle we can take it from the uh, last it depends on the situation and uh, according to the algorithms and the time complexity is big o and 2 here we are taking one array and uh, in this array we are taking the first element as a uh, pivot and uh, uh, the element which we are taking as a pivot the lower element will be uh, written into the left side and the higher element are written into the right side as you can see that for example we have taken 54 so the all element which are lower from 54 will be written in the left side this area is in the sorted uh, uh, format but actually uh, this will again call the quick sort to sort this array and this will reach up to the one element and the element which are greater than the 54 the same quick sort algorithm will be uh, called again to so so uh, sort this one and after that it will be combined just like that okay thank you so much for watching